Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about the Vipertech EBTech Mags. Very important message. This is only for people that are doing the devil's mod. If you don't even know what that is, don't worry about it. Keep looking for some other videos. This is not for you. For the people that are using the devil's mod on these mags, it is very important. If you play in hot weather, if it's 100 and above, maybe even 90 Fahrenheit, 95 Fahrenheit plus, or 40, 38 Celsius, maybe even 35 Celsius plus, you want to make some modifications to these mags because they will break on you. That's what happened to two of my mags. So what happens is these screws right here, they're made out of zinc. They're very weak. It is okay for blue, green, red, or black gas that it's fine, but not for CO2, I mean, these were never meant to have CO2 in them, and then also in high temperatures, they start bending, and then you have an issue, you can't unscrew them anymore. As you can see right here, I tried it with two of them, two mags, and just the head came loose. One mag even, well, let's say exploded. Now, the reason why I use the word explosion is because it made the same sound as the thunder beat. At first, I thought that it was one of my grenades that went off. I checked them and I saw that everything was fine, so I kept on playing. And then when I did my reload, I noticed that my mag was empty. I'm like, what the heck? Oh, damn it, now they're leaking again? What's going on? And that's when it hit me. I'm like, that was the explosion. It separated so much to where the pressure just came out so freaking fast. I haven't experienced that before with any other mag. I had the O-rings fail on me before on the ViperTech or EO, uh, ViperTech EBTech mags, but it would be just kind of like seeping out or like a little tss. This was huge. <laughs> because I was playing in hot weather and I think I replaced those O-rings already and it had a little better ones so it was able to create even more pressure and then it just came out, boom! Now, is it safe? Well, I guess it is, nothing happened to me and then mind you, you also have the aluminum shell outside that is protecting you and it is not that much pressure that something serious would happen and it's not a literal explosion. So I would say that you don't have much to worry about, but don't take my word for it. Kinda, but what happened is it just uh, separated a little bit and then the, uh, the CO2 was able to seep out. So with that was, uh, it wasn't sealing anymore and uh, the screws, they just, well, you couldn't use them anymore. You couldn't open it up anymore. So um, it's a very easy fix. What you need to get is um, screws like this. They are uh, steel alloy. And according to their website, they are rated up to 150, uh, 160,000 PSI, as you can see here. Now the threading is um, a 540. The metric, all the metric systems that I was looking at, they just weren't working. It just didn't go. So this was the only one I could find. The threading was the right one. Uh, the 540, the five is the thickness, the 40 is the thread, and the length is just a little bit over 20 millimeters, but that size fits it right. Another thing I wanna mention is if you don't find that size, if you just find longer ones, you can get them cut them shorter and you're gonna to have to re-thread them. These screws are very hard to find. That size, it took me forever to find them. Um, I'm going to try to put into the description down below um, the website where I found them. And they're fairly cheap. They're um, steel and it will um, withhold the whole pressure. Now, before you go away, there's one more thing you have to uh, modify on these mags and it is the o-rings the o-rings they have in there again it is made for cheap gas and it's fine but for the higher pressure ones it doesn't work they will break on you it has happened to me a few times i had to exchange them and uh the right size that I, what i found out is um are those this you have different strength on them this is a 70 strength so what that means is um it's a little bit less Elastic, then uh, I think you have, what's the, the lower strength? 60 or 50, I think. And then you have another strength, which is higher up, which is a 90. Now the 90 is not gonna be as flexible and you're not gonna be able to depress it as much. You could use a 90 in this, but then you have to get the exact measurement 
which I haven't done. I wanted to see if the 70 is working and it is working for me. With the 90, you would have to see the exact measurements because with this is even a fitter, um, it, it is a tighter fit. If you were to use this, it wouldn't fit. So the thickness of this one is, let's see, All right, it's almost two millimeters, right? Just about two millimeters, 1.8. So with, uh, with the 90 that compresses less, you would have to get even a little bit thinner one, maybe 1.7 or something like that. But if you go with this one, the right size is, I believe the outer diameter is about uh, 20 millimeters. Yep, so that's about it. That's about 20 millimeters. And the thickness is, as we've seen right now, it is about, oh, you know, 1.9, apparently. I think it's a, it's like a two millimeter. So those are the two things you have to do. Once you have done that, you're fine. And I have been playing with these. I modified all of them with this and this. And I played, again, in, a, in weather that is... What do we have the last few times? 105, 104, 110 even. They didn't break on me. So make sure if you're playing in very hot weather, modify those mags. Don't have them break on you like uh, it happened to me. I messed up two of them and that costs some money. But luckily you can also contact uh, ViperTech itself and just have them send the inner uh, tank and that's it. You'll save some money like that. And one last thing, what you want to do is you want to use some kind of grease. You don't want to use uh, silicone oil because that's going to dissipate much faster from the pressure and stuff like that. Use the, the grease right here that I'm showing. It's pretty good. It's not aggressive. It's not going to dry out your O-rings. So marinate them in it. Also put enough grease into the grooves. In this case, the more the merrier. I hope this was helpful. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.